Welcome back. In the last episode, we uh, decided to go for the undead. And uh, now we are facing loads of them. So, uh, be ready to regret your decisions and uh, let's play the battle for Wesnoth. Now, the thing we definitely want in this level are white mages. Now, where are my white mages? Let's sort by type. They are alphabetically, so white mages are pretty much at the bottom of the uh, list. I need all the white mages. I also need my paladin. Uh, quicken that a bit. Paladin. Do I have any mermen... mermaids? Mermaids, mermaids, fighter warriors. Okay, we have some of those, which is pretty impressive. I didn't think I still had any of those left. What I really want is uh, a mermaid initiate here. Because those have an impact attack. Let's take over a village here, just to keep getting gold. We'll try to take them out, I suppose, in, in that order. This, 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 this. Or maybe I'll even split the army, I don't know. I have plenty of white mages and I, I even have some leaders. Which means that I could technically try to... Uh, yeah, I will do that. I will send one squad of units over here with uh, Carlins and the Mermaid. One white mage goes down there. Then also take the Paladin. And uh, let's send the Mermaid over there. Lizar will join those guys. Delphador as well. Now we need melee for, uh, guys. So we need the Dwarvish Lords. Uh, we need... kind of want this bandit, but I can't recruit any, uh, any more of those, so... Uh, I don't know, I feel... I want to keep them alive for some reason. Let's also recruit one of the... or recall one of the... Uh, Griffin Riders. Maybe this guy. He's closer to leveling up. This one's just for taking over villages. Oh, the Elvish Marshal, because he's level 3 unit. And the leader. The Elvish Druid. And uh, also, what else do I want to recruit? A recall. Sorceress? No, oh, I have no vacant places. Okay. Forgot about that. Now we'll recall all the uh, magical units first. Actually, not first, but we'll try to recall all of them. Because those guys have ghosts, and I hate ghosts. Also, this guy has a pretty huge fortress, so uh, we will need to... Uh, focus on him. So I'll try to take out those pretty much at the same time. Although I don't like how the green guy has a larger, or seems to have a larger amount of guards around him. Okay. No, this is not good. This is not good. I don't know why, but I don't like this level already. It's probably because it has undead. It's most likely because it has undead. Okay, one of you goes there, the other one goes there. Take this. Uh, let's send the druid in here. And now let's recruit some more. I want the elvish sorceress. I suppose I also want my fugitive. This is where they really shine. Screw let's also go with the, unde uh, with the bandit here. I just realized I'm out of healing units. Let's go with some more mages. And anything else I want to recruit? Uh, let's let's go with another mermaid. Yeah. Okay, so this group will move down here. Keeping these on the uh, villagers. Delphador goes down there. Okay, this could go horribly wrong. I do accept this fact. This could go terribly, terribly wrong. 
Luckily, those guys seem to be uh, only equipped with level 1 units as of now, or level 0 even, those are walking corpses. So as long as we don't get swamped by them too hard, we should be okay. We have some, some reasonably high level units. Although it might have been a good idea to send Lison up there, and uh, a bunch of other guys down elsewhere. Although I, I do prefer to have kind of mixed squads all, the, all over the place. Yeah, this was probably a bad move for you there. Wraith, Ghost, Ghost. Uh, yeah, this this hardly did damage at all, right? Haha, <laughs> idiot. Um, let's use this guy. Or not. I should have also moved in the uh, marshal first. Who cares? Time to do some grilling here. Um, and sword fighting time. This pallet is actually almost uh, at level up. And this is going to be the party that has the hardest time because they don't have too many healing uh, healing units around. But they will get Conrad, so we will have at least that going for us. So add another Elvish Druid here. Um, do have any other Dwarvish fighters or Steelclads? No. We have this guy who is uh, reasonably close to leveling up. We have a knight. Let's use the knight and uh, horseman. No, let's recall some more mages here. Also, still want the red mage. I haven't had one in ages because I ended up always losing my white mages and needing more of those. Well, let's go with another mage and uh, then go forth. Oh, this could go so wrong. This could be going so horribly wrong. I don't like the fact that we are so highly outnumbered up here. And I don't have anyone here to uh, stop those guys from advancing either. I might actually have to wait for a turn up there. No, oh, this is bad. This is really bad. I might have made a mistake. Then again, I might just worry too much about things. But I don't know. I really don't know. Oh, we do want the bonus objective there. Yeah, poor move, my friend. Oh, right, they can't move in the swamps either. Ha, huh, nice. At least we're getting that working for us. And I can recall a pretty much one more unit. Or recruit one more unit, depending on what I want to do. Going with recall here. Since we have so many uh, walking corpses, I'm going with this. He's loyal, so he doesn't cost me anything extra. And we can... Uh okay. Now what would be really, really useful would be the ability to have all the leaders recruiting. But sometimes you just can't have that. Also, let's go with this to get Lizar leveled up. Move the Dwarven Lord over there. Have a healer nearby. Okay, this is... Uh, I don't know. It, it always feels really dangerous if I do that. It probably also is. But uh, you get my point. Okay. 
It's also a bit of, of a problem that the Dwarven Lord is so slow. Because I think it's it's best to wait a turn here. And to, to just let things unfold. And this guy has... No, let's... He won't be able to come that far, so let's not do that. We'll wait up for the Dwarven Lord and I'll probably send another fighter over here. To deal with all those corpses. I mean, we could just, just let them use all their resources, but I'm not sure they have that much of a limit there. Really not sure about that. Uh, we'll actually check the uh, game stats next to, to see if uh, we can check how much gold they have. Might prove useful to know how much they will send at us. But I think the Lich is basically not really limited. Are those level 1 or level 2? Those are Googles, okay. That's level uh, 1. Yeah, not worried about this guy. They have a lot of health and they really are strong. So, uh, and we have this this uh, at least plus four heal, so that's that's absolutely fine. Uh, let's let's send this guy over. The uh, Merman warrior. You can still level up one more time, I think. Oh, two different levels. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Let's try to do this first. Because let's be honest, Conrad doesn't need the experience. There we go. <coughs> Problem solved. Uh, now, I want you to go there, you to take out this guy. Now that went well, didn't it? I guess I want you to take out... ...that. Okay, can you do this? Yes. We move the druid in here, or the, the white mage in here. Dwarven fighter goes there. Now we need to take out this guy. Oh, Lizar, you had to fail me there. Woohoo! I wonder if gr uh, if that Griffins will ma uh, give you uh, flying walking corpses or, or flying corpses in that regard. I don't think they do. Uh, undo that. I want you to go there. And now I keep me uh, messing up my squad uh, thing. Let's hide there. I wanted to keep those somewhat separate, but I forgot which guy went into which squad, or which, which guy belongs to which uh, unit I wanted to send. So, uh, let's just... Uh, oh, I wanted to look at this first as well. It's not statistics, damn it. Uh, scenario... Status table. Uh, we have minus three gold. They have 93 gold left. Oh, wow. Those guys actually are not very rich. He has used up all his gold, although they do have a decent income, and this guy will keep flooding us with walking corpses. So we need more units up here. Because those cost, I think, 8 per unit, so uh, that's still loads of them. we will probably just try to hold them off here. Might even go that way. And yeah. Let's hope this goes well. I sincerely hope it will. I mean, there's plenty of healing to go around, so uh, that c 
could work. Uh, don't like this. I don't like this. There's my countdown. I'm going to cut the video here because I'm quite sure I won't be able to sort that out within the, the remaining or within the next few minutes. Uh, sometimes they do, uh, those griffins do get a lucky shot. Come on! If this goes really bad, I will just uh, load the last scenario and try try my luck with the orcs. Because let's face it, orcs are generally easier to defeat than undead. They have loads of health, but they are not that resilient. They don't have wraiths. Oh wow, we got a drake out of this. I don't know how that walking corpse be uh, was... Uh, Made from a griffin, but uh, there's nothing we can do about it now. Anyway, time to break up the video. I'll see you next time. Bye!